uh, okay. when we start, okay? Okay, well, thank you very much for no, this. No, no, uh, no, please, please wait, please wait. Is it ready? Please wait. You can start now. Okay. Well, thank you very much for this golden chance, which is given to me here as a presenter under the title Enhancing Fluency in Speaking Foreign Language with Other Speaking Partner or basic uh, speaker. So I am here, let me introduce myself. My name is Jaftia Turohania. I am from Indonesia and I'm the assistant professor in Universitas Islam Madura. And then I'm here, take the privilege to be a trainer and resource persons for the training sessions by the training, learning and development department of the International Internship University. I will give my big thanks to the CEO of International uh, Internship University, Mr. Piyuth Pandit, who have uh, give, given me this chance. And also I want to give my big thanks to Dr. Supriya Kumaravelan for this uh, very good uh, golden opportunity for me in presenting my topic about enhancing fluency in speaking foreign language. Well, uh, tonight I would like to introduce uh, my presentations here. Uh, this is actually, the topic is about a uh, speaking skill for a, <clears throat> for a basic speaker. So please, uh, please share my slide, madam. Can you please share my slide? Hello, can you please share my slide? Okay, um, my slide is about uh, Enhancing fluency in speaking foreign language without a speaking partner. This is actually for a basic speaker who want to develop their uh, ability in speaking foreign language. Okay, the next. Next. Next, please. Hello, the next, please. Next slide, please. Second slide. Second slide, please. Okay. Uh, actually, there are some steps that can help a basic speaker to develop their ability in speaking, even though they are not a real a native so that they can develop their speaking skill, especially for a basic speaker in developing their skill. Okay, the first step is talk with a mirror. You know that talk with a mirror is an easy uh, step uh, to develop a speaking skill for basic speaker. Whenever you can take a few minutes out of your day to stand in front of the mirror and speak. Choose a topic, set a timer for two and three minutes and just talk. The point of this exercise is to watch your mouth, face and body language as you speak. It also make you feel like you are talking to someone. So if you have a mirror in your house or in your office, for example, you can uh, take this uh, step to be a way to develop your speaking skill. Okay, the next slide, please. Next slide. 
Second, oh, okay, good. Second is talk to yourself. If you want to develop your speaking skill and you don't have partner in your house, you can talk to yourself. Whenever you are at home, campus or on the way or alone somewhere else, you can practice your English with yourself, such giving opinions, suggestions, and etc. Example, in one time you have a heart condition to fast, you can give suggestions to yourself by using English, such as never give up, honey. You will find the best solution. Keep it calm, dear. So you can talk to yourself. Uh, even though in any situations you face, for example, you want to go to school, you have to say to yourself that, okay, now I will go to school by using that foreign language because foreign language here is different with a second language. Okay, the next please. The next slide, okay, the next slide is about um, make an easy diary make an English diary. This is an easy way to the uh, basic speaker to make an easy English diary. So if uh, you have uh, your daily activity, so you can write down in the diary uh, by using English language or that foreign language. Okay, keep a diary in English, learn to express ideas in English, your brain needs to learn to think in English, not your native language. You will accustomed to think and express idea in English. So this will be accustomed and make the basic speaker here to, uh, to be customs in using writing in, uh, in their diaries. And then the next is about the next slide, please. Read out loud in your private room. Reading out loud may seem foolish, but it's really, it's really the best way to improve your spoken English. Start by using simple books and just read loud, loud until you find a word you don't know. Try if you enter the meaning of word from its context. If you can't, don't worry. Make a note of it and carry on reading. Try to read fluently in many times. So read loud here is a, a best way to make a fluent in your foreign language because read loud here can be a useful feature to develop your speaking skill. Okay, the next please. Record yourself in speaking. Okay. Like this one, when I joined the conference like this in the live sessions, we can try. We can try to uh, make it fluent or uh, to be self-confidence in expressing an idea and etc. So you can record yourself in speaking by using another social media such as YouTube or another application that can be useful in developing uh, our speaking, especially for a basic speaker. This can have several benefits. If you are trying to improve your accents, it can be useful to hear how you pronounce certain words. Recording your voice can also be useful to hear your fluency and give your confidence. Okay, the next please. Next please. Sing long to English songs. I know that everybody have uh, any favorite songs and you can sing songs, sing your favorite songs. Singing long to your favorite English songs will help you to become more fluent. Once you can sing long to the Taylor Swift, for example, and Jason Myers, you can test your skill with something a bit more difficult such as rap. Rap is a great way to practice English because often the words are spoken like regular sentences. However, the rapper uses a stronger rhyme and faster speed. Some of the words might not make sense, but if you can keep up with the rapper, then you are on the way to becoming fluent. 
So that's why rapper here uh, can become an example in training the fluency of uh, skill in, uh, what is it, in a foreign language. Okay, the next please. And the next is about learn a new word every day. Wherever you are, please learn new English word in your daily activity or in the situations you have and practice it in a sentences. Make a note of vocabulary in the goods which is needed to remind a new word. Okay, this is for a basic speaker. For a basic speaker, this way can uh, help you to make, to make fluence in uh, speaking English, such as making a note or a kind of vocabularies from each goat in uh, every goat in your home, for example, the door. So you can write down uh, the note in that door. It is a door or in the window, for example, windows. So you can take a note in that got uh, that the name of this is windows, like this one. And the next is, the next step is about, okay, the next slide, please. Tell a story from your language in English. So you can tell the experience tell the activity by using English or another foreign language that you want to learn. Here is a fun way to test how well your spoken English has developed. Choose a story that you know really well and tell it in English. Remember to think in English as you are telling your story. Focus on speaking fluently instead of correctly. Say every sentence is loud to yourself. Even if you have nobody to talk in English, you can still build confidence and master fluency on your own time. So this one is uh, very easy because uh, this one is uh, telling the story about yourself, for example. So you can practice uh, the foreign language such as English or Dutch or uh, German and or uh, another foreign language that you want to learn by telling story from your own language for your language in English. So this is a simple actually just uh, telling about the experience, your hobby or uh, your families and also another activity you have done in that day. So just, just it is uh, very simple. Okay, the next slide. The next slide, try some tongue twister. You know that tongue twister is uh, a simple way to make it fluent in speaking foreign language. Because tongue twister are series of words that are difficult to say quickly. Such as stop smile because your small smile has made bad smile. So this is the example of tongue twister. Actually there are some words or sentences that can be uh, become the materials to develop uh, speaking uh, fluency for a basic speaker. What games like this will help you to find the right placement for your mouth and tongue and can even help you in the pronunciations. So don't forget uh, also to, to watch uh, in YouTube about tongue twister itself because it can uh, support you to develop in the pronunciation system because I myself here because I'm from Indonesia and of course English become a, my foreign language not a second language because our second language here is our national language and then our foreign language here is uh, English itself so for me English is a little bit different with uh, our system uh, in English, Indonesians, I mean. Okay, the next. Okay, the next here is uh, try uh, to listen and repeat. If you want to uh, practice yourself uh, in speaking English, just listen and repeat. 
Do you watch television shows or YouTube videos in English? Use them to improve your fluency. Choose a short part of show and repeat it line by line. Try to match the tone, speed, and even the accent, if you can. It doesn't matter if you miss a few words. The important thing is to keep talking. Try to sound like a native speaker on the show. So if you find a show or maybe the film or a drama, you can listen and repeat. Listen some kinds of sentences or uh, the native speaker say about that word. So you can listen and after this, you can repeat it again and again. So finally, you can uh, develop your speaking skills without a speaking partner. This is the way for a basic speaker. Okay, the next. Wow, many thanks for this, uh, for this chance for me. Thank you for these participations and all the viewers of this uh, international conference or uh, lives in the live sessions given by International Intensive University. I will give my big thanks to Madame Supriya and all the committees of International Intensive University. Hopefully, we can meet again in another sessions. Okay, thank you. Good night.